time of the night with the ladies. You know, you're still enjoying the show, but you're also thinking it's time to go to the restroom at break time, and you're starting to think about it now because you know you're going to have to line up like livestock. <laughs> Men, you don't even know what we're talking about because you don't have a problem like we've got problems. Same thing. I was at the airport with my mask, waiting in line like a farm animal to use the toilet with all the other ladies, and we sort of just follow like this. We don't... <laughs> We don't talk to each other, but you can't take bigger steps because then your tits touch the one in front's back. <laughs> and it's awkward, you don't want to feel like you're not comfortable in your own body, so you just stand there with your tits on her back. <laughs> and she is too polite to move quickly because she doesn't want to give you a complex about your tits on her back. So it's <laughs> in this weird relationship, tit back. But then we have nothing to do and we don't talk to each other but rest our tits on each other's backs. <laughs> and we see the men go in and out of your toilet. <laughs> and we pay attention. We go, oh, white pants, blue shirt, blue blazer's just gone. Oh, he's out again. <laughs> and we know that's not enough time to wash your hands. <laughs> Especially because more than half of you still walk out zipping up. <laughs> Logistically, how does that even work? So your dick's resting in the sink while you're washing your hands. <laughs> There's always the one guy that walks out and goes, you lady should just use the house. <laughs> Look, we'd love to. But we've all accidentally stumbled into a men's bathroom at some point, and it's very clear that you have no fucking idea how your equipment works. <laughs> Let's face it, everyone has tried to make it as easy for men as it possibly can. There's like a stainless steel wall with the water running down with those awful lollies at the bottom that leave a terrible taste in your mouth. <laughs> and even God said, look, we're gonna make you competitive and strong, but let's make their vaginas hose pipe shape. <laughs> you still can't fucking get it against the wall. There's piss on everything. <laughs> so when men say, you should just use ours, we don't want you to have yours. We want you to just go piss an alleyway like it's after nine at night. We just want your space. We want that whole space just for ladies to use so we don't have to queue up anymore. But also, I think, you know, it's time for change. I think, ladies, we need, like, a urinal system. Obviously, it can't be against the wall, but if we have, like, the sinks on the sides with mirrors and then down the middle, like, a trough. <laughs> so you just come in, you're like, oh, yeah. facing the same way. You can't have one over-eager lesbian coming. Hey, ladies. <laughs> ah, Maureen, turn around. Turn around, Maureen. But I'm in the queue. I get to the front with my mask on, and you know, it's a pressure point at this point. You've got to look at all those little rings on the doors. You go, this one. If it starts to jiggle, you go, this one. This one. Finally. When it turns, you see that red go to green. You have to rush up to it. Like, you want to be, be eager to get in, but not keen. <laughs> you don't want the other lady to open the door and you're just in front going, <laughs> I want to be. But that lady opened the door, looked at my mask and said, take your face nappy off. And I said, bitch, I'm wearing this, not because of COVID, because I don't want to go in there and smell your cadaver pussy. <laughs> Nobody 